Uh, my name is Father Mike Shea. I am a Redemptorist. Uh, I've been working in Thailand for 48 years. Uh, first, the children were taken in where did not have AIDS uh, because the AIDS children were dying before their parents. But once we got some medicine lined up and then we began to take in uh, children who actually were infected with the AIDS virus, and that's when uh, in, the early, in the early 2000s, 2001 or two, we built our first uh, uh, building for children with AIDS, which we call Sarnelli House. We finally got antiretroviral medicine, uh, thanks to our nurse Kate in Toronto, uh, an Australian lady that came over, a nurse, and she's been here on and off now for six years. And uh, she's been instrumental in, 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 in caring for the health of the kids in general. Uh, the kids have turned out to be very, very normal kids. Uh, I always figured that when we got kids, kids would be you know, being raised by me and by people I was training, it would be different from other children, but they're not. They're the very same, they have the same problems, uh, they have the same good qualities, uh, they have the same bad qualities, but the main thing is that they're, uh, they're loved. Uh, I didn't hire people that with a lot of knowledge, except for people like Kate and a few others, we had, we had to have people that uh, uh, had knowledge. But it was a simple village women that came and started taking care of these kids, knowing that some of these kids had AIDS, knowing some of them had TB with AIDS and were quite infectious. But these women came in and uh, uh, they're doing a great job, a uh, super job of raising children. We have children, now uh, the smallest baby we have, I think is about two months old, or three months old now. Um, and we have kids all the way up into the early 20s we're sending all the way through school and into college or into uh, agricultural school or say vocational schools for, uh, uh, for the girls and for the boys. So I mean, they're all getting their education. Every ch child that's graduating has a job, everyone. Some have changed jobs now, but I mean, they, they, they've done well.
picking up kids and picking up kids and we're buying food, we're buying meat, we're buying vegetables, we're buying uh, uh, rice. And I had a chance to buy uh, rice fields that were actually planted with eucalyptus, but I had a lot of kids. So we dug up the eucalyptus trees, plowed them up, and we cleaned it all out and we started planting rice in the last two years. Now we've planted our, we have enough rice to feed 200 people a day throughout the whole year. We're pretty proud of that. Plus that, we have pigs. Uh, we raise pigs and we butcher a pig a week for all six houses for the kids and they eat everything, everything, uh, including the boobs. And uh, we have chickens and ducks and geese and uh, we have cattle. We have brown cattle that people in the States have donated. And uh, we have uh, various other groups, the Dutch people from Maastricht, uh, Germans from uh, Oberhausen. I mean, all these people have chipped in to help us to buy things we needed for the farm, including a tractor. So we're very, very grateful for people that stepped in and helped us with this farming situation because it not only gives us food and vegetables and stuff, but it also uh, teaches the kids uh, responsibility because they have to do all the planting and they have to do all the harvesting. So, and a lot of the other work, they're making fertilizer, uh, uh, milling rice, it's all done by uh, our young people. I'm proud of that. My name is Katie Troner. I'm a nurse from Australia and I've been working here at Semele House for the last six years. We have an outreach program. Um, we have a team of a uh, social worker and driver and we go and visit people in the villages mostly with HIV. Um, they are just sick and they need to have their medicines checked or they need help to go to the hospital. Um, often they're alone, they don't have any family or they may be just looking after their children so they can't work. Uh, we also have a clinic that we run every Friday here and we see people with HIV, mostly adults, and we just do basic primary health care. We give vitamins, we talk to them, we check their tablets, check their symptoms, and if they need to, we take them to the hospital. It's very rewarding work to work with people that are vulnerable and sick and poor and to just get to know them, to help them whichever way we can. And they, they are so kind and open and they show us their hospitality and often I get more from them than I can give to them. So we work just being with people, just sharing their time, their illness, trying to make sure that they can get as much care as we can provide. Um, also work a lot with the children who are just great because they just respond to any bit of love that you give them. And so you, you give up love and you get so much love back. So it's very, very rewarding, very um, humbling place to work. Wonderful I've been happy with every conferer I've ever had. So I would say that uh, uh, for the happiness that the Lord gave to me, one word I would say would be gratitude.